There's an interesting case reported there today in the newspaper. It's a case that was settled in the circuit court in County Clare in Ennis, I think. It's to do with discrimination alleged by a traveller family against a priest, a so-called outspoken priest called Father Cummins, who refused to allow the claimant in this case, Miss Sherlock, who's a traveller lady, from attending a First Holy Communion event in Ennis Diamond. It was her niece and nephew's First Holy Communion. It's an interesting case for a couple of reasons, uh, because in the first instance, the claim of discrimination was brought under the Equal Status Act to the Workplace Relations Commission. And the question arose then as to whether the provision of uh, mass or the saying of mass fell within the definition of a service as uh, understood by the Equal Status Act. In other words, was it covered? And the WRC adjudicator found that it wasn't. And the case then fell by way of technicality, but it was actually appealed then to the circuit court. And the alleged incident of discrimination occurred eight years ago or so in 2015. And it's been settled now, but the priest and the bishop, in fact, have... Uh, settled the case and uh, payments were made to Miss Sherlock who brought the case. The background to it is that firstly the out of court settlement was settled the other day at Ennis uh, Circuit Court on Monday of this week and today is Valentine's Day the 14th of February. The claimant uh, Miss Sherlock took separate action against the bishop, the late Martin Drennan, he's former bishop of the Diocese of Galway and Kill Macdua, alleging discrimination. Basically, it arose Miss Sherlock wanted to attend a First Holy Communion in a Catholic Church in Ennis Diamond for her niece and nephew's First Holy Communion on the 2015. Father Cummins allegedly refused entry. Judge Comerford made out the court made the out of court settlement between the late Martin Drennan, who, who died last November, and Caroline Sherlock, a rule of court. The judge queried then when the settlement terms were handed in as to whether there was one sum or two sums. Counsel for the late Martin Drennan said separate and on that basis the case could be struck out. Both matters were resolved and both matters were settled on the same terms. Therefore Miss Sherlock's claim against both the bishop and the priest were settled. The amounts paid out were not disclosed. Ms Sherlock uh, or, uh, was represented by the Free Legal, Legal uh, Advice Centre, but they weren't in court. The case first came before the WRC back in 2020, and the adjudicator at the WRC dismissed the case. Basically, the adjudicator accepted that the services, religious services, such as Holy Communions, are not covered by the Equal Status Act. The claimant alleged that on the day of her attendance at the Holy Communion, Father Cummins stopped her from entering the church due to what she was wearing. Gardaí were called to the church, but confirmed at the time that there was no public order incident. Caroline Sherlock, that's the claimant, could not be reached for comment on the settlement, but her sister celebrated or who had uh, whose two children had celebrated the communion their communion on the day in question welcome to pay out kathleen sherlock recalled the events of may 23rd 2015 she said he was humiliating i wanted to be in the church for my baby's communion and i missed it it ruined our day completely destroyed it altogether everyone was upset kathleen sherlock said that she was going in and out of the church to see what the commotion was about uh, and I was trying to get them in and trying to explain to the priest the regards there as well. She said that Caroline had a skirt above her knee uh, and Father Cummins didn't want her to go in due to a dress policy. But there were a lot of settled people, ladies, with the same shortness of skirt and they were allowed into the church. Kathleen said that my own daughter wasn't allowed into the church either because she had an off-the-shoulder top. Miss Sherlock said, we missed our children's communion, which we can't get back. And she alleged that was discrimination because we were travellers. Miss Sherlock said that her fate is very important to her. However, she said she has not returned to Ennis Diamond Church since her children's Holy Communion in May 2015 and now goes to the Hinch Church instead.
Miss Sherlock, who said Father Cummins had been her, in her home before, has not, not made up with the priest, and she said, I'm very disappointed about that. Father Cummins, Father Cummins declined a comment about uh, when he was contacted about the out-of-court settlement. He has previously declined a comment as well. In 2021, however, it emerged that Father Cummins was staging regular Sunday morning masses at Ennis Diamond Church during a COVID-19 lockdown period. He was saying at the time that nobody had contracted the virus from attending his masses. He also denounced the planned puka of Ennis Diamond sculptor as sinister from the altar at Sunday Mass. A spokesman then for the Diocese of Galway noted that the court action was concluded, quote, without liability being determined and in terms which both parties have agreed should remain confidential and wouldn't make any further comment. The spokesman declined to comment when asked if the diocese had covered the legal costs of Father Cummins or the late Bishop Drennan or made the payments referred to in court. A spokeswoman for Flack stated that it cannot make a comment on the case at this time, given the terms of the settlement. Interestingly, when the church is struggling to get people uh, to attend, when there is falling attendances, and I've seen this myself, you'd imagine that the church and the individual priests would be more encouraging of people into various uh, ceremonies and functions, etc. For, for example, Mass and uh, First Holy Communion. But obviously this case then has been settled, there has been a payout and it's basically to do with the alleged discrimination against travellers in respect of uh, access to services. And the legal issue that arose at the WRC was interesting insofar as it was held that the provision of uh, mass services etc. Uh, doesn't fall within the Equal Status Acts but I'm not sure that that would be the case had the case gone ahead at the circuit court or indeed if the decision was appealed to the Labour Court. Uh, that remains to be seen. Interesting case, um, you know, this priest is outspoken and uh, notwithstanding the fact that he's outspoken, he hasn't made any comment on this. And previously, when the incident first blew up, he was uh, asked for uh, quotes on the situation or asked for comment, but he uh, had not returned five calls from the Irish Times over a two-day pe period, nor had he visited the Sherlock family in the town, uh, two of whom he allegedly refused entrance to the church, telling them that they were dressed inappropriately. And the spokesman for the Diocese of Galway uh, declined to comment at the time, saying and that the matter was addressed uh, privately, or best addressed privately and locally. This was back in 2015. But it was put to him that it had not been addressed privately or locally a week after the alleged incident. He said, for all concerned, such things are best not played out in the media. There's no doubt about it. Things like this are best not played out in the media uh, when you are the uh, person at the receiving end of uh, this claim, because clearly it is embarrassing. Gardaí were actually called to the church uh, in Ennis Diamond at 11am on the day in question. A spokesman for the guards confirmed that there was no public order incident or breach of the peace detected and no one was arrested. But clearly, if, uh, you know, somebody's refused entry to a First Holy Communion and it's a niece, a niece and a nephew who is having or is receiving First Holy Communion uh, and you're being excluded or prevented, uh, barred essentially from going in uh, as a consequence of what you're wearing, it's um, it's unusual now to put it mildly because I've seen people at mass uh, wearing uh, all sorts of clothing and obviously the key thing is that they're showing up for whatever service uh, and to worship or, or whatever they're doing. Anyway, it's an interesting case, as I say, it was settled yesterday in the circuit court in Ennis.